look, it's baby Trump. Hey, baby Trump. Can I get a word? Can I get a word with baby Trump? You got a minute for baby Trump? Hey, Trump. Make America great again. Make America great again, all right. <laughs> so I was at the Halloween parade last night. It was fucking great here in New York City, man. All the freaks come out at night. The freaks come out at night. It used to be much more freakish, but it got, it seems like it got a little more conservative, but whatever, man. It was a lot of fun. So I'm going to, uh, I'm going to, I want to talk about this, uh, this latest stir up Halloween political correctness. <laughs> a first amendment is under siege, even in Halloween, right? <laughs> Last week, Megan uh, Kelly, uh, former Fox News, Fox uh, was who transferred over to the to the I guess the liberal side at CBS, CBS or wherever she was right. So Al Roker, right? She got fired for saying that she thinks that it's okay for blacks to dress like whites and whites to dress like blacks. The full costume, if you need to paint your face, whatever, right? And she was forced to resign, fired, whatever, right? She she's out of there. She's out of there. Whatever we call it today, that she get fired, that she resigned, she's out of there, right? And so Al Roker, Al Roker, the 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 black Al Roker, dressed as a white character for ho for Halloween. We'll talk about that. But let's just watch. Here's some of my footage from the uh, from the Halloween parade. Oh, look! It's Baby Trump. Hey, Baby Trump. Can I get a word? Can I get a word with Baby Trump? You got a minute for Baby Trump? Hey, Trump. Make America great again. Make America great again? All right. <laughs> hey, Joker, how you doing, man? Feeling good. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. What's your, what's your, what's your costume? Who are you? Mask. Uh, the, the mask? Yep. All right, man. Thank you. Smoker. Hi, can I interview you? Hi. Trump and Trump. Snovas de la Americo. What's that? You're from? Snovas de la Americo. Where are you from? Trump. Dobra. Dobra. So you can't Trump, vote for Trump. Dobra. Why do I got Trump signs? You, you want us to vote for Trump? No. Donald Trump. Donald Trump. Donald Trump. You're very good. Very good. Yeah. Hey, can I ask you guys? A, ask you guys a question. Sure. You guys know where hamburgers come from? From us. <laughs> Clearly us. Astronaut. Can I ask you a question? Has the eagle landed yet? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Thank you. Sometimes I feel like I'm the only cow that cow in the field that knows where hamburger comes from. You know what I mean? We're cows that understand that too. You understand? A lot of liberals. Almost got into a couple of fights already. <laughs> you guys are protesting the protesting Trump? Always yes. and forever. Oh thanks. Oh, I'm good. Can I talk to you? Uh, look, no, okay. You can have a flyer. That's what we're trying to do. We're trying. Oh, it's okay. I know all about have it. Have a flyer. Have a candy. Oh, thank you so much, man. Thank. You. So what's what's the deal? Why would I end uh, the regime? What's Trump and Pence uh, have brought a fascist state to America, and uh, voting them out isn't going to be enough. We have to, we have to, we're going to have to be protesting. Please join us both on November 7th and November 10th to make sure that the people who are elected believe, remember that we are the ones they work for, not the corporations. Right. No doubt, no doubt. Well, what about, what about, can I ask you about, what happens if Hillary Clinton would have won? Wouldn't we still be working for the Why are we talking about the past? Who gives a fuck whether she won or not? She's not she didn't win. So she Trump, didn't win. Right now we have to deal with Trump. Trump. What do you get? Like, does this, it, it would be like, you get like rid of Trump, arguing what do you something. Get? Well, we won't know one until we try. What would one at a time. Under his eye. Get rid of Trump. What do you get? Under his eye. Fascism. Uh, so let's jump right into this. So today's show, weatherman Al Roker. I'm reading from the uh, New York Post. Al Roker, weatherman, <clears throat> is under fire for dressing up on Halloween as Doc Brown. The quirky and white time machine inventor in Back to the Future trilogy. He's just expressing himself, right? It's fine. Right? Some social media users asked why it was all right for him to dress up as a Caucasian character while NBC canceled his colleague Megyn Kelly's show after her controversial blackface comments. It was a fair question, right? Why? Right? I'm going to say this one last time. This is Al Roker. I'm going to say this one last time. But the folks who get it understand and the ones who don't 
won't. Roca tweeted to explain why his 80s themed costume was not an example of whiteface. I can be Doc Brown and I wear the outfit and wig and not change my skin color if you're white. You can be President Obama if you want. Just don't color your skin. This is fucking rules. Like there's, there's rules to, to expression. Don't these fucking people know history? Right? That people fought and died for the right to speak out, the freedom of press, the freedom of speech. Right? And they, they'll always say, oh, no, 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 fucking, no, 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 Conti, you're wrong because he works for somebody. He works for somebody, and because he works for somebody, the somebody can tell him what he can say and, how, and what he can't say and what she can say and what she can't say. No. The First Amendment is, a, is the law of the land, it's an umbrella. An umbrella that covers everybody, right? There's no exemption. Don't buy into that corporate bullshit that that because you're because you work for somebody you can't speak out, you can't say this. No, no, no. YouTube can delete your shit. Facebook can delete your shit because you said something that offends their corporate policy. No, fuck you, fuck you. This there's a First Amendment in this country, and we're protected. Free speech is protected. I digress. So Roker wore a white wig and white overalls. Wow, outrageous. Oh my God, he's fucking being a white guy. A black guy being a white guy? You can't do that shit in America. Roker wore a white wig and white overalls, but didn't alter the color of his face in his portrayal of Christopher Lloyd's character. A week before, Al Roker tweets out, Megyn Kelly is a terrible person to even suggest that it's okay for a white person to go as a black character for Halloween. <laughs> the fucking hypocrisy is out unbelievable. Man. Also complaining was American So Woke. I don't know who that is. Who posted a photo of, of Roker and Dreyer sitting inside a DeLorean as their respective characters. Ah, oh, these fucking guys are outlaws, man. How dare them? How dare you black man be a white person on Halloween? Stick to your black race. Stick to your black race. Be a basketball player. Be a fucking athlete or some kind of football guy. Black guy. Black. Be Michael Jackson. Don't be a fucking white guy. How dare you? How dare you, Al Roker, be a white guy? But not everyone took offense to this getup. Why, why would this be a thing? He did Doc Brown. He didn't do whiteface. You do get in trouble if you are a white person who puts on blackface for Halloween or a black person who puts on whiteface for Halloween. This is Megyn Kelly speaking right she's the fox from fox news right then went over to N nbc i'm sorry i said abc whatever right um and roker took her to task Ugh. roker took her to task after apologizing to her co-workers listen to this jack off listen to what he said the fact is while she apologized to nbc staff she owes a bigger apology to folks of color around the country roker said on air this is a history going back to the 1830s minstrel shows to demean and denigrate a race. It wasn't right. The guy's fucking bringing up 1830. Kelly later apologized on air, but M uh, NBC canceled Megyn Kelly today on Friday. What a fucking tragedy, right? So they, they fired her. So, and she did her apology. She did her... Welcome to the show. I'm Megan Kelly, and I want to begin with two words. I'm sorry. You may have heard that yesterday we had a discussion here about political correctness and Halloween costumes. And that conversation turned to whether it is ever okay for a person of one race to dress up as another. A black person making their face lighter or a white person making theirs darker to make a costume complete. I defended the idea, saying as long as it as it was respectful and part of a Halloween costume, it seemed okay. Well, I was wrong, and I am sorry. I learned that given the history of blackface being used in awful ways by racists in this country, 
It is not okay for that to be part of any costume, Halloween or otherwise. But you see how money changes everything. Money, that, you know, Megyn Kelly was a firebrand on Fox. And then she goes over to NBC and she's, she's apologizing, right? Why? Because they, they, they're not firing her. They're cutting her, they're cutting her loose and giving her her $80 million in, in, uh, that they owe her. Right? So she don't give a shit, really. So, I mean, as a, as a, I bet as a stipulation in her contract or a stipulation in her releasal or acceptance of her resignation, she said, oh, yeah, no, I'll, I'll do the apology. Right? Fucking disgraceful. Because that's what history, that's now how history is going to remember her as a sellout. Right? She sold out. Right? So is, is this kind of thing relevant in new media? No, right? Fucking no, right? YouTube doesn't do that. You can say whatever you want, right? Well, sort of, right? I want to show you guys something, right? So I'm I'm a YouTube content creator. I'm I'm fairly fairly new on the scene, right? But I'm I'm coming up coming up pretty coming up pretty strong, right? I want to show you guys something that um right, how YouTube forces you to curb your mouth. Watch your mouth. Say what we want to say. Say what's politically correct. Now, YouTube is has never deleted a a, a video of me all they do is they demonetize you that's the punishment you want to make a video about something that's controversial or something that we don't we don't agree with well then fuck you when we're not you're not no advertisers want to see you they determine what advertisers can can see so check this shit out right so there's the title see Syac, the halloween party one demonetized yellow means demonetized when i did the piece on ronald lowey the bomber. See the yellow? Demonetized. Demonetized, right? There's the, I did a hit piece on Chank Uger, scumbag Chank Uger. Demonetized, right? There's the Patsy one, right? 9,000 views, demonetized. Look at the one, Syac, for the deleted videos. 94,000 people saw it. Nine, demonetized. The, 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 what's the last one? Look, you see, Patsy, Trump supporter, demonetized fake bomb demonetized false flag alert bombs over cnn demonetized right demonetized false flags right anything that anything <laughs> see what i'm trying to say is that is that this is the way they squeeze the testicles this is the way they squeeze your balls squeeze your balls squeeze your balls right so what I'm, what I'm trying to say is that, that um, I do this. I don't censor myself. I believe in a mosh pit in the comments. If you don't like the comments and people bashing each other, then this isn't your channel, right? This is fucking Wayne's World. <laughs> I believe that if you do speak up, there shouldn't be people trying to filter what you say. Oh, you can't say that and you can't say this. The only thing I delete is when you put the same thing up seven or eight or 12 times because you think nobody sees it. Right? That, that gets thrown at the spam and it just it fucking sits there. Right? So other than that, but what, what I also want to say is that I, I, um, if I'm to continue to do this with a vigor, I do need your support because this YouTube, everybody thinks, oh, this guy's big fucking making big money on YouTube. It's fucking peanuts, right? It's a peanut gallery, right? <coughs> well, what I, well, what, what is required is that you, you, Patreon is a good one. If you throw three dollars in the hat every month, if you want this content and you want a guy like me to go, you know, Sparta, stay in the stay in the trenches and and get these, you know, really blow the whistle. Not just on, not just casually blow the whistle, but go right into the fucking trench and blow the whistle. Kindly be, kindly think about uh, Patreon once a month. Make a one-time donation, PayPal. Uh, Buy some stickers on eBay. All right. My name is Marcus Conti reporting.